Hello, this is Ate Shalo from Iba't Ibang Kwento ni Ate Shalo. Kamusta naman kayo? By now, you should know that kamusta means how are you? Okay. I have a story. Have you ever wondered where starfishes came from? I found a legend where starfishes came from. Well, there weren't any starfishes before. Before, there were only stars, beautiful stars, being born every day in the, in the sky, in the heavens. Okay, then there was this baby, baby star. And baby star said to her mommy star, Mommy star, I think I'm big enough. I can already go and fly and light up the sky with my brothers and sister stars. And then mommy star said, oh, baby star, you're still so small. You're not yet strong enough to go up. You have to stay here be beside me first. And then the baby star was so excited because she always sees her brothers and sisters lighting up the sky every night. So she said, I think I can do just that. I think I can be just as good, Mommy Star. Please let me go. And then Mommy Star said, Oh, please, you're still so young. And you're still not that strong. Weak. You're still weak. You need some more time to grow. And then Baby Star said, No, Mommy Star, I'll show you. One day you'll be so proud of me. I'll show you. Oh, yes, I'm proud of you, Baby Star. But your time is not yet now. But Baby Star wouldn't hear any of it. Baby Star wanted to just go fly. And, you know, a lot of people can wish upon me when I go up in the sky, Mommy. And then Mommy Star said, Oh, come on, Baby Star. You'll still be my Baby Star for now. It's gonna take you a while. But Baby Star wouldn't hear any of it. Baby Star wanted to just fly. And then one night, Baby Star decided to sneak out and fly. Oh yes, this is so good. And Baby Star was having a grand time. Woo! And a lot of wishes were said because there was a new star flying across the sky. And Baby Star was so excited. But then, Baby Star lost her way. Baby Star didn't know how to get back to Mommy Star. And especially when the wind started to blow. <sighs> there was a storm coming. Oh no! But Baby Star wasn't that strong. Yes, Baby Star can fly. But Baby Star isn't strong enough to withstand the winds. Oh no! Oh no! Baby star started to <gasps> fall. And when baby star fell, it fell into the waters. And since it's all wet, it couldn't bring itself back up to the sky. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Baby star was really, really down. And no matter how hard, Baby Star cried out to Mommy Star, I'm here! Mommy Star, please! Mommy Star can hear Baby Star. And then, soon enough, the sun came up and Baby Star was still in the water. And still in the water. After some time, Baby Star is still in the water. And started to become a starfish couldn't go back to the sky anymore but baby star decided this is going to be my home now mommy star you're gonna be proud of me i am going to be the best starfish there could ever be the end okay what is the story for today about the story about the legend of the starfish is about impatience why baby star will have her time to shine but she couldn't wait 
because she is envious of the uh, brothers and sister stars that she has and she wanted to fly alongside with them even if it wasn't her time yet but you know there is a reason for everything mommy star wanted baby star to grow stronger before she lets her go but baby star didn't want to wait one more day she just wanted to fly well there's nothing wrong with her wish that she could fly and fly she did and it was beautiful but then mommy star warned her that she won't be strong enough she didn't see the, that mommy star was just trying to protect her sometimes as kids you just want to go on ahead and play and play there's nothing wrong with playing but when mommy tells you to be careful you really have to listen why because mommy loves you because your daddy or your guardian loves you they don't want you getting hurt that's the reason why you have to listen to them it's not that they wanted you not to enjoy your freedom or they're trying to tell you that there are things you cannot do no that's not true they are telling you that you can do all these things but you have to learn how to make sure that you understand the reason for warning you why because they don't want you getting hurt okay so what happened to baby star baby star fell into the water good thing she did not hurt herself she fell into the water but what if in the storm she fell in rocky soil or on on on, on top of the mountain and she hurt herself good thing she fell into the water but unfortunately she cannot go back to her mommy star anymore and she decided that she will become the best starfish there could ever be well that's a good turnaround because even if she wasn't be, she couldn't become the best star that she could be at least she could be the best starfish there could ever be because she's the first starfish because this is the legend of the starfish okay so she has learned to be content in where she is so that's a good turnaround from being the impatient star that she is she has become the contented starfish with that may god be praised thank you so much for listening to uh for the story and i hope that you enjoyed learning something new today about impatience and about contentment and if you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button and you can also like or comment please share also to your friends so that they can have a steady stream of stories and lessons every day this is Ate Shala saying thank you and goodbye for now. See you again. Thank you so much. This is Ate Shala from Iba't Ibang Kwento ni Ate Shala. Bye!